I'm Ellen Stopan, also known as Dr. E. And I'm Thomas Serbogan, also known as Dr. Z. And welcome to another episode of Easy Science. This one is about Earth Day, the 51st Earth Day. And of course, at NASA, Earth and Earth science, climate science is a high priority. NASA really focuses on climate, understanding our planet's climate and how it's changing because of human-induced activity. Exactly, and in order for us to understand that, we need to look at the Earth as an interconnected system of systems, looking at the oceans, looking at the biosphere, the atmosphere, all the parts, the cryosphere, ice, you know, looking at all the parts, and our spacecraft do just that. So a lot of people don't realize NASA has over two dozen satellites in orbit around the Earth right now, all different orbits, different sensors, really trying to understand how our climate is changing, how the Earth is changing, and how can we use that data to really help not just understand what's going to happen next with climate change, but how to help people be more resilient to the changes that are taking place. So we had an incredible launch this past November of a spacecraft called Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich. Of course, Michael Freilich's name was on it, the former director of Earth Science, and the family was there. It's an incredibly beautiful launch. The whole Earth was celebrating that launch, it felt like, when it went up there, and it's taking data right now. Incredible data on sea level rise, and this is something that Mike, who is a dear colleague of both of ours, would have been so proud to know. Fundamental data on how is the sea level rising, where is it rising in some areas faster than in others. You see that where you see all of a sudden flooding at high tide in communities. We need to understand that to give people the best protection we can and to allow decision makers to take that information and figure out what do we do with people who live very close to vulnerable coastlines. Exactly. So there's another launch that's going to happen later this year, the next Landsat mission. And I remember in your museum, there's a lot of information about Landsat. What's most exciting to you? Well, you know, to me, Landsat, you know, again, this is why it's in the National Air and Space Museum. Hugely long continuity of data. How is the Earth's surface changing over time? Can we look at how urban areas spread? Can we look at how deserts sometimes move in to urban areas or move backward? Can we really see how deforestation is taking place? Where are people cutting down trees? Where is there regrowth of forests? Landsat is just a critical, critical series of spacecraft that have really helped us understand this planet and how it changes over time. So this is the ninth one in the series. And I just think it's an incredible partnership between NASA and the U.S. Geological Survey. Absolutely incredible and perhaps the most valuable data set that we have in our everyday life, whether it's from farming, fisheries, even firefighting. The other spacecraft that we're gonna launch in December is the next in the GOES series, GOES T in this case. And the GOES satellites are really, really critical for understanding weather helping predict weather, helping look at cloud cover, how hurricanes develop and move across the surface of the Earth. We wouldn't know as much about weather as we do today without those GOES satellites, really critical. And I have to tell you, I'm always very proud when I look at the weather images because I know that coming from the spacecraft that our teams put together with our friends from NOAA, and it's having an impact in my life right now and in the impact of the lives of my family. And one of the instruments on there that is in this new GOES series is that lightning mapper, which is really starting to have an impact in forecasting, my NOAA friends tell me. Does that actually help you predict tornadoes better or severe storms? Absolutely, it helps predict tornadoes and the occurrence of it. I hope on this Earth Day, everybody gives a big thank you to NASA, NOAA, and the U.S. Geological Survey for helping us understand our planet better. Happy Earth Day. And thank you for joining us for another episode of Easy, Easy Science. Science.